Hey Melanin Gang, it's your girl I am Nibbles. I am being customs and today is Wednesday so technically I'm kind of vlogging for like my last day for week 11 slash my first day for week 12 so not really sure which video this is going to go in but by the time you see this you'll know. Um, so lately I've just been feeling normal all day today and I really think it's because my ankle is hurting so bad that my attention is like towards my ankle that I can't even think about anything else because um to my other segments I was saying like it feels like my ligaments and everything keep popping out of place and stuff like that then it rained here where I'm at the other day because I do live in Michigan so our, I'm sorry I'm trying to get this a little bit off my arm. Okay, I had to get that off my arm because it was so irritating. But like I was saying, yeah, like I was, um, especially just like my back keep popping in and out of place, my knees keep cracking, my ankles popping, cracking, wrists popping, cracking. I don't fucking know. It's just like everything snap, crackle, and popping around this nut. <laughs> so as of right now, it's like my ankle is propped up all the way because it is so freaking swollen. And I hit it like a couple years ago on a space heater. And I haven't really had no problem with it since. Like, it'll just hurt a little bit here and there, but not like swell up to the point where it's like I have to have the elevator and stuff like I am right now. And then the kids was giving me a run for my money yesterday, and I was chasing them around the house and done fucked up even more. So. Now it's hurting me even the worst. <clears throat> but um, as far as like the anxiety and stuff like that, since they had given me a nausea and medicine at the hospital, which was Sunday, today is Wednesday. The, um, what's today, the 27th? Yeah, the 27th is the day for um, Thanksgiving. Um, I wasn't nauseous the rest of that day, but then the next day, um, the next two days I was, and then today I really wasn't, because, like I said, all my focus is on my ankle, but I don't think that my body is, like, focused on that, it can't focus on anything else. Um, I don't know about my boobs and stuff, they got bigger, and I have some weird stuff going on with that, too, like, I don't know, and I normally don't wear a bra, but now it's like I really just don't prefer to wear it. Like it just irritates the shit out of me. It's like it's too tight or something. Like I don't know. So we're not doing no bras lately either. And sorry if this is TMI, because if you're new to my channel, like I said, I don't know if this is going to which video, but we talk about women's health on this channel. So boom. And I did redid my braids like three times since this install has been up. She ain't gotta keep it fresh. She's gonna keep her year be. Um. Also, I had downloaded a tracker. If you know my channel, this is my first time ever having a period tracker. Because normally I just track it on my own. And being that I've been using the electronic one, I need to go back for like the last two, three days and put it in my actual, you know physical form which is this little booklet right here and so far um from my checker is saying that i am seven days late and that i ovulated on the six which means if big calendar so yeah so it's saying that I had it on the 6th, which was a Wednesday. And today is the 27th. So since then, it's been, that's 14, 21 days. So 21 days since I updated. And it would be considered seven days late for my cycle according to my tracker even though i had two cycles last month and for the last couple of months i've been coming on on the in the beginning of the month and not the end of the month so i have no idea 
And also, I had called my doctor's office on Monday and told them what was going on for my OB. And then my appointment is not till December 16th. So, and then they got me seeing a whole different doctor than what I normally see. So, I mean, that's why I just don't play stuff. But sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. And it's always changed for a reason. Because I didn't even like the man that they gave me in the other one. You know what I'm saying? He was just kind of cool because he was a little, you know. But other than that, it's like, I keep asking you about natural stuff and you're steady saying some other shit. Like, you can't comprehend English or, you know, trying to play mind games and be like, I'm stupid just because I'm eliminated and you're not supposed to have me fucked up like that. So, <laughs> sorry for being a little bit ghetto too if you read my channel, but hey. I feel like how it is. It's no fluff on my channel. It just, it is what it is. So, um, just outside of that, I'm just praying to God that tomorrow that I'm okay and I'm all good with all these smells and stuff like that. I really haven't been having no issues with smells since my mom had cooked something like that one day. I don't know what it was. She was cooking some crap, but I just really, I was about to just throw up. And that one day when I had went and got some pizza, like that one, some of the pizza was kind of um, bothering me as well. So, yeah, I could eat it, but the smell was a lot. It was just weird. Just like today, I tried to take a shot earlier, and it was just like, I could smell it way across the room before I actually took the shot. And then it was sitting, it was in my legs hard, and it got up to my face, and it was just like, damn. Like, I feel like I'm drunk before I usually take the damn shot, but it didn't bother my family, it didn't make me nice or anything like that, but I ate a little bit of McDonald's before I did that, and it was only, like, two shots, it was a double shot, it was nothing crazy, and I just took the other little double shot that was left in the bottle, so, so far, so good, fingers crossed, um, so, yeah, you guys, um, I didn't take my advice yesterday either because my ankle was hurting really, really bad. Like, I wasn't even thinking about nothing but I looked at this ankle and put some ice on it. Like, so real, so real. Also, go check out my latest videos. My quick weave video is not up. However, um, the install for these sprays are up. Um, my week 8 is up in week 9 and 10. Um, vlogs are up so I finally got that up for you guys the other day I don't have no description for it so I'm sorry like I said I'm trying to get better with these descriptions I'm trying to get better with the schedule to upload videos for you guys so again go check that out also go check out my earlier videos on this health journey leading up to this point also like I always recommend if you your sister family member whoever kings queens you know what I'm saying Drop a comment down below, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And Melon Nation and Melon Gang, Melon Pop, Melon Taking Over the World. Period. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Good night. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Alright, ciao. Hey, Melon Nation, Melon Gang. What's poppy, you guys? I'm here for week 12. I really haven't been vlogging this week. I was kind of jacked up after I left the hospital, dealing with all of that, trying to figure out what was going on in week 11. So today is Sunday, December 1st, and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since 7. I've been waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning for like the past week now, and it's just getting a little bit redundant. Like, cannot go back to sleep. And then I've been going to sleep, like, I've been taking hella naps. But still, wake up at fucking 7 o'clock in the morning. Like, it's just weird. Even if I don't take a nap, I'm still waking up at 7 in the morning. It's crazy. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't mind me. I'm just in a meditative state right now. Smoking is not the nature of my channel. However, that's what it is right now today. Also, if you're new to my channel, go check out some of my other vlogs. On um, Women's Health, the TTC Journey, and Fighting PCOS, and Demetriosis, Hyperthyroid, and all that good stuff. Spiritual, holistic living, etc., etc. Alright.
like I was saying, we're like, what, three, four days into the week, well, yeah, like, two more days left, because I start on Wednesdays, on Wednesday week 13, we'll be starting, and real talk, y'all, my cycle still ain't hanging yet, like, that motherfucker is MIA, on my period checker, it said I ain't had a period in 40 days. And according to my tracker, my next period is supposed to be coming up on the 20-something of this month, but who knows. My next ovulation day is supposed to be December 5th, but it's like another time period. So, again, I don't fucking know. And I'm like so tempted, y'all, to go buy another test because I haven't tested since... <clears throat> The week I went to the hospital and stuff. I had tested at the hospital. And I tested a couple of days before that on my own. Which was like November 18th or 19th or something like that. And I ended up going to the hospital on the 24th. So yeah. I don't know. It's been a whole week since then. So ain't no telling what might show up. And I told my boyfriend. He was like, you need like a more expensive one. Uh, so, I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just go find one or something. Or I'm going to buy a cheap one, depending on what the cheap one is. And I'll just go buy more expensive one or something. I don't know. But, like, my boobs are kind of tender. Like, the tissue around me, I just feel a little bit heavy. The nausea, it's not an all-day thing now. It's like it kind of comes and goes, like, here and there. I don't know. Um, last night, I really, really wanted some tacos. I was not eating no more Thanksgiving food. So I ended up going to this taco place, <laughs> bringing some tacos. And I was, like, so happy. I smashed the food. I went to sleep. Um... Oh, and another thing is, so after I left the hospital, and I started feeling a little bit better with my nausea and stuff like that, tell me why, like, remember I kept saying, I don't know if I had put it up in that vlog or not, because I only think I made one recording for this week, but, um, yeah, it's like, all my ligaments and stuff is, like, popping in and out of place, and, like, it's weird stuff I'm feeling I need to stretch and stuff like that and it ended up raining here where I live at because I live up north and or midwest whatever you want to call it and the weather is fucking retarded here so my ankle that I had fractured or sprained or whatever like two years ago that mug it popped out of place and oh my god I could not walk on Thanksgiving the day before Thanksgiving I was in bed all day because my leg was swollen, or my ankle was swollen, like, iced up, but I ended up putting some black seed oil on it, and the swelling went down, like, that's why I was like, I love black seed oil. If you don't got no black seed oil, y'all, go get you some. So I rubbed some of that on there, once in the morning, once at night, and I just wrapped up the Ace bandage and had my foot elevated, and boom, I was good in like two, three days. I didn't start doing it to like the second day, so I did like two days. I was good. So your shoulder pop out of place. You think pop out of place? You got any pain or something? Some black seed oil. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I just love some black seed oil. <laughs> um, what else, y'all? Uh, so yes. Oh, and I just been having like really, really, really bad gas. Like all day, every day, just gas. If I'm not cramping, I got gas. Or I got gas and cramping at the same time. And it's just like, what the fuck? But the vaginal cramping kind of chills out. So when I do cramp, it's just like in my waistline area. Not really in my cervix like it was. Because that shit was hurt. Like, I'm off the kill. Um, My CM is still like super like thickish. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's different than what it normally is but like I said when I went to the hospital it's like I don't have BV I don't have a yeast infection I don't have any STIs STDs and that. my pH was at a 6 so I'm just like I 
damn that what's going on with that um i just had a little bit of joint pain here and there not nothing too major but my ankle that really was what i mean, had no headaches haven't really been feeling lightheaded or nothing like that um, the only supplement I have been taking is my phallic acid when I do remember to take it. So, sometimes I take it at a random time. As if I even take it at all. And my Vitex, I only took it here and there during week 11. Like, I really haven't taken none this week because I'm really just trying to figure out, like, what the fuck is going on with my body. And not that the Vitex, I think, will hurt anything. I mean, if it is that. <clears throat> but I'm just like... I know some people, once they find out, they kind of wing themselves off, and I'm kind of like stopping just cold turkey. And even though I started the Vitex while on a period, which I don't even know if it was a real period, because, like I said, in October, I had two periods. So, but yeah, it's just really just been gas, lower back pain, constipation, um, nausea, breast tenderness, joints popping in out of place um my feet might hurt here and there especially like a couple of weeks back like even when I wasn't doing the job at the hotel like if I was doing anything like my feet would just hurt for no fucking reason like I don't know like just I had to sit the fuck down <laughs> um what else and I just been having like flu crazy well not nothing crazy it's just but I just be wanting something so 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 bad and then I just go waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning, every morning, or I'll wake up at 3. I go pee like fucking crazy all day, all fucking night. Even if I, like, try to, like, cut down my water intake, which I drink the same amount of water that I normally fucking drink. But I just go pee like fucking crazy. And that's just getting annoying. Um... Um, I can't think of it right now, but yeah, I know it's will pee like crazy. Um, especially because I just drink the same water. Oh yeah, and if I don't wake up at seven, I wake up at three. And yeah, just oh, and when I wake up, I be hungry as soon as I wake up. Which I'm not the type of person that when I wake up, I want to eat because when I try to eat that early, my stomach hurts. So lately, like as soon as I wake up, it be like, if you don't eat something, like, it's like this morning I'm waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, drinking water and eating hot Cheetos. Well, I really didn't start eating until like eight, but I woke up at seven and just laying in there like looking crazy for the water. Like I said, it's just now 10 o'clock or some shit like that. I'm just like, I'm still sitting here just hungry. Like, I want some food. Like, I really want like, some pancakes and some eggs. Some grits. Like, a big dinner. Some polo sausages. Yeah. <laughs> But, alright y'all, I'm going to get back with y'all a little bit later. I just wanted to come vlog and just have something for y'all. So, I'm not, like, you know, missing out. Because, like I said, I'm going to try to get better with this vlogging thing. But, like I said, y'all, my health is kind of just, I don't up and down state right now. But, I'm open enough to come share with y'all. And, thank you for following my channel and staying subscribed. Because, like I said, just have, you know, if people come check out my channel know anybody or anything going through things like this you know like i always say so all right y'all have a blessed one i hope you we y'all had a good thanksgiving and have a good christmas coming up you know happy birthday to any of my winter babies my capricorns my saggies all of that you know what i'm saying all right y'all you know what I'm saying? If y'all got finals coming up, good luck on y'all finals. You know what I'm saying? I know how that was when I was in school. <laughs> so, alright, you guys. Melody Nation, Melody Game, Melody Pop, Melody Take my Little Walk. Period. <laughs> also, y'all, I'm just sitting here thinking about this. So I was thinking about it last night. Because I was supposed to be on my period 
football last week. And I'm just like, so, I know how I put that pretty fair skin or whatever, whatever, you know. I, your girl really don't break out with shit like that. Like, we got my period. It was like some weird, like, it was like two pimples wanted to come up right here, but they wouldn't come all the way up from under my skin. And I'm just washing it with some, like, sensitive skin soap and stuff like that. And it kind of just went away. But I never had ended up getting a blemish that week or nothing like that. It was just all the other symptoms, like, I would have, like, if my pimples on but I just did not have a period. I just thought that was just so, so weird. And then on top of the fact, like, now, since I'm starting a whole two weeks or like a week and a half before my actual period came on, and they usually only start like the week before or like three days before or something like that. Because I can feel my, for myself. I like, and I never like felt it. It never did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't explain the feeling, but like, if you could feel when you're lining and all of that is starting to open and all of that you know what I'm talking about so I never felt that so that was just so weird to me but <laughs> alright yeah. yeah like I had to go pee like so bad I've been on my pee for like an hour like an hour hour and a half Cause I had like last left, y'all. Uh, it's like one something. So, I was gonna go to family dollar. And I got the family wellness two pack because this shit is expensive. They had a clear blue there, but the clear blue was $9. So I was like, I might as well just get these two for seven. Then they had the actual um, first response ones. And I think the ones were like. 10 for 20 packs, so I was like, you know what, F it, I might just go for seven dollar one, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I did not go pee yet, I still currently have to go pee, maybe, 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 maybe. So, he comes in, I feel like this. I'm not gonna do it in a cup, I'm just gonna like pee in the toilet and just have it stream over the toilet like that. I don't know why, but I was just watching videos online. And sometimes it's just like, go get a test now. Like, it's past when your period's supposed to be on. And just go get one. So, I'm going to get one. I'm filming it for y'all. This will be my third test that I'm taking. So, hold on a second. Okay, y'all. So, I just peed. The time is now 1.04. So, five minutes to be 1.09. So, I guess we're just going to wait it all out and come back and see. I got it covered up and everything. Like, I never covered up a test when I took a test. And, like, a part of me was like, just go get a 997 from the dollar store. But then another part of me was like, just get this one. I don't know. Because I was, like, looking up research and stuff, and all of them said that they're all, like, different potencies. And stuff like that. So I was just like, let me just go with something that's a little bit on the high end. I'm so freaking nervous, you guys. Like, lemon balls. Literally, lemon balls. Okay, so I'm gonna call my sister something and make the time go by a little bit faster, and then I'm coming back. Alright, see you in just a second. Okay, so I waited a little bit. Past the five minute mark to make sure everything is all good. And it's still coming out negative. There's no faint line. No. So. We're still just gonna be looking stupid until something happens. Or like I said, if that second period that was in October was supposed to be my November period, I don't know. 
but yes this is at 40 days since me having a period and this will make me what, like 11 days late or something like that because my periods normally last 10 days so I'm 11 days late and 40 days since I had a period so yeah going on maybe even if it is so i'm probably gonna end up i didn't know i was pregnant or something i bet you but i'm gonna keep these one in my records because the other one i threw away and the other one i took out the hospital so i didn't get to keep it so i'm just gonna date this and keep it in my records just in case if anything changes i can't have all my bubble log stuff for y'all so all right i might get that child a little bit later and again another thing is um I still been having like a little bit of irritability and mood swings and stuff like that as well. Like anything that I probably said in my previous vlogs that I haven't talked about, um, as far as my symptoms and everything that I've been having, I probably don't say I'm all in each video, but I'm pretty sure that this is getting kind of a little bit redundant, but yeah. Um, once I do find out everything that's going on, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to sit down and write everything out and come to y'all with a more clear continent video so all right you guys how about you girl later ciao i still want my damn grilled cheese like i think i might go and give me a fucking grilled cheese for real for real because i still want um, hey melanin gang it is monday y'all we got one more day of week 12 to do so hallelujah for that. Um, pretty much everything has been the same since yesterday. Like really not too much, but a little bit of you know cramping, a little bit of tenderness and weirdness here and there. Nothing too too major of a change. Um, I just noticed a little bit difference in my stool. It's like more pebbly than like look like little kid stools and what my actual stool is supposed to look like, so I don't know. I'm a little constipation still here and there, but that's normal because my stomach just always gives me problems. So we're just gonna wait it out a little bit longer. And according to my tracker, I think I'm at, what, 41 or 42 days um, since my last, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, also, I wanted to come and say um, thank you, thank you again. I um I recently went into my um, YouTube stuff and I noticed that some of my comment and settings wasn't set right, so I wasn't getting some of my comments. So I finally did reach out to some of the people that had left me some comments. I want to say thank you, thank you for supporting the Melanin Nation. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Kings and queens. So I want to give out a shout out to Robert Kennedy. I'm going to go check out that website or whatever it was that you told me to go check out. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I also want to give out a shout out to Beauty by Andrea. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Your, um, your vibe and everything as well is the bomb. And I'm going to go check out some more of your videos and things like that. I like the way that you got your page and everything set up. Um, also, please do not ridicule me if I say your last name wrong. But um, her name is Caitlin Kreklowicz. <laughs> If I'm saying that right, I think it's Kreklowicz or Kreklowicz or something like that. I'm sorry, but yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support and also subscribe to your channel as well. So thank you for that. And on the last and not least, I want to give a shout out to Dippa Knitting, I want to say, D-I-P-A Knitting. Um, Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm some months and some weeks late, but I did say that I would get back to everybody. And thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Also, I want to say be on the lookout for these upcoming vlogs. And that will be my week 11 vlog, um, my week 12 vlog, which I am doing right now. I also um, 
for my quick weave that I did a couple weeks back. It was a brown curly quick weave. I have a tutorial for that coming up that I'm supposed to be editing and um, the takedown and updated wash video to that um, on how to comb and detangle hair and all of that type of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that beauty stuff or um, been following my health journey, just stay tuned. Those videos will be coming sometime within this week. It just all depends on how long it takes to download on my computer because I do use um, my google backup for editing so just be patient with me and um also for week 13 coming up because i always do my week 13 reviews if you are new to my channel for that um i'm just still going to try to take my public acid when i remember to take it which i've been kind of struggling with that because like i said my life has been over crazy from my health to my physical ability to family events keep coming back to back the holidays time change just everything around me is just changing 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 and, and i'm just sitting here like on a merry-go-round just waiting for it to stop <laughs> so yes you guys just be on look out for that also there will be a um tutorial coming up well me taking down this install as well and um seeing my growth check because I have been using Vicks Vapor Up in my hair for my last two washes. So the first wash went well. So I'm gonna see what happens with the second wash. Um so be on the lookout for that. Um let's see. Oh yeah for week 13 before we get off of track. Like I said I'm gonna start take my folic acid um as long as I remember um, I, like I said, I'm taking a break from the Vita, so I'm not sure if that played a role of anything, switching or anything. Um, in two weeks, I think I'll be in week 14 going into week 15 by the time my doctor's appointment come up because that is on December 16th. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I think I'll be in week 14 for sure. So we're coming up to week 13. It's the first week of December. So I would say today is December 2nd and it's a Monday. Yeah. So um, the last test we took, it was negative. So therefore we're at three tests so far. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to wait it out. I saved the other one for, um, I'm going to test again at the end of week 13. Um, let's see what else is going on. I haven't done no oil packs or anything like that because I have not the one to really mess with anything in the area down there. And especially since I went to the emergency room, they said everything was in total, complete health. The only thing I really been doing is just taking black sea oil and folic acid for real, for real. Um, I want to start back taking my raspberry leaf supplement and, um, and by the 16th, if I don't see anything, um, I might start back taking my maca root because I have just enough maca root to probably last me out that one little week um, until my next cycle is supposed to show up. So, and I know that when I take my maca root, um, if anything, it does make my cycle come on. So if it does not make it do that, then... I don't know. Then we can just further try to see what's going on with everything. Cause like I said, just like I'm on this journey and everything is new to me, honey. I'm pretty sure y'all sitting there with y'all popcorn like, what's about to happen next, baby? So <laughs> this is not no spoofs or nothing. I know I tell it like it is. I try to be 100% with everything. No fluff on my channel. So yes, like I said, you guys will be the first to know everything. Um, which is kind of weird because I was even on the phone with my sister today and I was like, I don't know if I want to post my last two vlogs. I'm like, everything is just getting so surreal and everything is just like, should I post them or should I not? And she's just like, well, you know, you started everything. She was like, it doesn't matter who your viewers and your subscribers are, they're still going to watch and support your channel. And no matter if you don't share it right then and there, it's eventually going to come out to the world anyways because you do have a channel. You still live in the real world where real people can see you and have access to you and things like that. And I'm just like, you know what? 
Okay, well then we're just gonna post the thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came this far, might as well keep going. Which, it wasn't like I wasn't planning on posting it at all. But, however, I was gonna take, you know, precautions and maybe wait a little while and then post it. But then I got to think to myself, like, I just backdated myself a couple of weeks ago and I didn't do that. And you guys were waiting on content, so I'm like, I'm not gonna do that to my viewers again, so... I'm going to go ahead and try to edit that today. Also, some other things that I would like to edit, like I said, um, a big part of this journey, which I really don't talk about, um, is detoxing first and getting um, in the right head space and mental space of things. So, um, in my first steps, it was stuff that I was vlogging for as a vegan journey. I know that in my previous videos, in the beginning of this, I said I was going to post some. But it's so hard because it was so much footage. So, at the ends of some of my videos, I'm going to try to um, promote the detoxing um, part aspect of all of this. Because it's not about just taking supplements and taking tests. And, you know, you do have to... Um, get your body in a state and then um, to absorb everything that you are about to drastically take your body through. And no, I'm not perfect. I still indulge in smoking. I still indulge in fast food. I still indulge in bread, even though I'm not supposed to eat it. But however, I still try to find some type of balance to balance that out because I do drink lots and lots of water. I do have a job where I am moving around a lot and, you know, sweat. I do do you know, research and pick and choose when to take certain things once it's my body, when to stop. I do take the time, you know, to just mix and match different supplements to see how it is going to act in my body and react with the other supplements or just, you know, when to take a break from everything, which is kind of like what I'm doing right now, which is so, so important if you know anything about my channel i always support listening to your body even if you do your own research or go to the hospital listen to the doctor take what they tell you and do what's best for you and your body even though you have the knowledge because it's just like first opinion second opinion and your gut opinion okay so i'm i'm really 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 big on that um <clears throat> And most of the stuff that you will see in those videos are like natural raw herbs. Like I was using like the um, slippery elm, um, making my own natural teas. Um, I have the, what's that? Black strap molasses um, syrup. Um, when I was doing the turmeric, ginger, and lemon water. Um, I was doing the garlic and honey, one teaspoon in the morning, one teaspoon at night. I was doing um, oral oil packs, which was I would do hemp oil and I would do coconut oil. Do a tablespoon in the morning of each and a tablespoon at night of each. Um, I was doing a vegan diet where I cut out all meat. If I did eat meat, it was only seafood. So I was on a pescatarian diet and here and there I would, might eat some ground turkey. Um, and even then I was really trying to cut back on bread. Even when I did pasta, I tried to get a, um, pasta that was made from vegetables instead of, um, a starch or eggs, um, you know, just little things like that. I was doing intermediate fasting and waist training to um, kind of get with the bloating and detoxing and stuff like that. And then, you know, also just doing my oil packs and spiritual baths. And I think that's the reason why a lot of the cysts did pass in my body because over these last couple months, I did have a lot of cysts pass nowhere. And the months before, I will have months where I would have blockages and a lot of spotting in between periods and just having two week long periods and only being able to be off period for like nine to 10 days and then have another period right back again. And that was like more of last year when I was having that issue. That's why in the beginning of this year of 2019, I was doing a lot of detoxing in the beginning of the year. Um, 
first of all, again, I would like to share some of that with y'all, along with some of the other teas and stuff I was making, if I even have any of that. Um, when I first started my Sarah Peptis, I have um, vlogs on when I did my Yanni Pearl Cleanse. I only did one, which I want to do a story time on that or just add it at the end of another video. Because like I said, a lot of this stuff is buried in my Google backup and editing is just like, whew. Like, when I say I give it up to you guys, y'all bets at doing this stuff, like, I really do give it up to y'all because editing is, like, probably the main hardest part of this. Um, and being that, I'm a jack of all trades, and I like to get my hands on and wet with everything that I am going to be doing and pursuing life. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind doing this part. And while doing this, i um, looking forward into building my team so I can be able to branch off and do all the things that I want to do. And I know that's all going to happen in divine time with divine spirit. And all of this is part of leading to that journey. So I want to just say thank y'all because without y'all, then I wouldn't just have nobody to give all these gems and jewels to. And there would be no purpose of me to be here. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I really sincerely mean that. From the bottom of my itty bitty heart. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, just be looking out for week 13. I'm probably not going to vlog tomorrow unless something super, uber, uber, uber crazy happens. And yeah, because I have a lot of editing ahead of me to do. Kids just went back to school today because, like I said, it's Monday. And I doubt that they have any homework. Um, so, I'm going to just try to stay at work a little bit longer and work on this. Um, and then tomorrow, um, I might just vlog doing her hair because I need to really start vlogging that too about her hair. And I'll link in her last install that I did in her head at the end of this video, or it might be at the end of one of my other hair tutorial videos, who knows, but just be on the lookout for that because I do kids hair as well. And all right, y'all, it's Melanie Nation, Melanie Gang, Melanie Poppin', Melanie taking over the world, period.